A WebMD survey tells us that more than half of all Americans have gained weight during the pandemic. All that time at home means more snacking and most admit they're exercising less. Fitness experts say exercise is not only good for your body, but it's also good for your brain. But why? Here's our why guide to explain. Our bodies are hardwired for movement. Early man had to move to survive. Now exercise drives our desire to stay fit. But a nice run through the park isn't just for our legs, lungs, and heart. Our productivity can improve. We literally can be smarter. We can actually be able to focus more. Exercise is good for the brain, and now we're going to explain why. Strenuous exercise is a form of stress that tells our brain to release chemicals that help us feel better. Dopamine helps relieve pain and can lead to what's known as a runner's high. Kathy Spencer Browning of the fitness company Mosa tells us exercise teaches our body how to regulate those chemicals. Our brain circuitry improves. It creates an environment for brain cells to grow. We can learn better, we can remember better, we can be more creative. Just as you read or do crossword puzzles to stimulate the brain, exercise introduces different challenges. But there's also a whole other host of things that we get from exercise that we might not get from a crossword puzzle. Anytime we stimulate it in different ways, we're creating these new connections. The nice part is we don't have to go on a 10 mile run to see results. Quick walk around the block with your dog can be as effective for brain health. Meaning if work has put you in a fog or you're stuck with a case of writer's block, a quick walk can exercise the brain and get you back on track. Now you gotta tell your brain to get off the couch. If you have a question for Jerry Carnes, our Y guy, send it to us on Facebook, Twitter, or email, and he'll be sure to look into it for you.